firstly, you've got to have an understanding of what are the roles. So what are the opportunities to work in the AFL? So as it stands at the moment, and it hasn't changed a hell of a lot over the last sort of 10 years, you're typically going to have your head of fitness, high performance manager, also known as, um, who sits as the boss of the department. Um, they're the the real focus on in terms of understanding what the coaches and how the football team needs to be able to play um, and then also coordinating the medical uh, physical performance team as well as support staff so things like sports psych um, uh, dietitian uh, and even your, your sports scientists and um, potential data analytics so they coordinate all of that to be able to support the players and make sure they're the information is filtered and relevant to what the the players need uh, at that time. Then you've got your strength and power coach, really developing yourself. You're working hard and getting better uh, every day and applying um, important skills. So I would say coaching would be number one, making sure you, you're really clear on your coaching philosophy when it comes to power development. You, uh, how do you cues change for, from plyometrics to max strength development with the slower strength activities? Uh, your conditioning prescription, how do you coach it? Has your coaching changed when you're running a high speed session compared to a sprint session, max velocity exposure compared to agility? Uh, having a database and, and tracking record of your, um, your frameworks in terms of progressions uh, in the gym um, with your squat patterns, hinge patterns, um, pull, press, uh, rotational exercises, injury mitigation exercises, your hamstring work, make sure you've got proximal exercise database distal hamstring uh, database, uh, eccentric exercises, is is isometric, isotonic. So all these things start taking record for, and you can just work, fine tune it as you, with your mentors. Social connection is really, really important. All, all football clubs that I've worked at, um, which really have been three, the Corfu Grammarians in the VAFA, uh, Box Hill Hawks, and then Mel and Hawthorne, and then Casey Demons and Melbourne Footy Club. Um, they're all really value having fun and enjoying the time that you're there and making sure that everyone's um, having a good time because it's a long preseason and it's a long competitive season. So from a connection piece, making sure that you're personable, um, that you're connecting with those that are in front of you uh, and you've got good social skills to be able to um, yeah, build that relationship. Technology is ever... Um, growing in terms of its need and depending on the program you're in some will be highly objective some will be um, more on the subjective side um, Hawthorne when I was there was more leaning towards um, the personal side and going off the feel and I guess the coach's instinct and athlete's instinct uh, and how the athlete is feeling and guiding heavily off that still obviously lots of objective data and you have your analysts you have your scientists but there was more probably the art of coaching um, that was uh, applied in that setting, <clears throat> whereas at Melbourne, we're highly objective, still obviously value the uh, subjective side and the feel uh, and gut instinct, um, but uh, we make sure that we're really objective in our prescription um, and that we've got a clear plan in place for that athlete, whether it be rehab, main group, and whatever it might be. Qualifications, a Bachelor of Sports Science degree is the minimum, as I mentioned before, like to be able to have a ticket to the dance, you absolutely have to have that as a bare minimum. Most full-time staff members will have their Masters of High Performance. My journey was a little bit different. So I did PT, personal training, for a good six, seven years, running my own business. Then I did my Bachelor of Sports Science while working at Corfu Grammarians and leading their strength and conditioning program for a full preseason season. And then did on the second year, did the preseason and then um, volunteered at Box Hill Hawks um, to be able to get the foot in the door at an elite club uh, and at a volunteer basis. So while I was doing my, my sports science degree, it was later in my career. So I had good coaching experience in the gym, um, but my coaching experience on the field were, was limited to one and a half years at a football club. 